Okay, um, morning students, welcome to our part two of multi level numbering. Okay, as you will remember, yesterday we did the numbering um, part two. From yesterday's list, uh, lesson, the numbering there was based on an existing uh, set of or combination of numbering. As you can see, this was yesterday's left one. It exist, existed before here, yeah, the combination. So today's lesson, part two, what is important about part two is that we want to come up with our own combination of numbers, the numbering combination that does not exist from the list. So what is given to us here uh, for level one, as you can see, it's capital letter Roman figure. For level two, it's a capital letter alphabet. And then three, it's a small letter Roman figure surrounded by brackets. And level four, a small capital letter surrounded by brackets as well. So this is what we want to know. To, to do for part two. You see that combination does not exist here. You have to create your own combination. How do you go about creating it? It's not that difficult. You will highlight all your numbers, all the lines that have asterisks on it. As you can see here, here are the instruction asterisks. Uh, one asterisk level one, one two asterisks represent level two, three asterisks represent level two. Then for level one is this, two is this item, three and so on. So let's put the numbering on it. It doesn't exist this combination. We call them multi level list. Then because it's not existing, what we do? You define your new multi level list. Then you will check on the instruction. For level one, you are looking for Roman fig. Be careful. You will select here because your numbers can can uh, move from level one to level nine. But for for the purpose of our lesson, we will move from level one to level four. Then we will select level one. Level one numbering. We want a capital letter Roman figure with a full stop next to it. So you don't type a number here. You come here numbering style, number style. Then you will select capital letter Roman figure. What you type is what goes next to the number, which is a full stop. You remove a bracket, you put a full stop. Then for level two, you don't type a number. We want capital letter alphabet. You go to capital letter alphabet. Then instead of a bracket, you remove bracket to put a full stop because we've got a full stop next to it. Then level three, you want small Roman figures surrounded by bracket. As you can see here, it is small. It's already selected. Then we put a bracket before and after the number. For level four, we've got the number surrounded by bracket. Our number is a small capital letter, small alphabet, I mean, which is a A. So we will choose a style, which is small alphabet for level four. That's it. And the bracket are already there. Then you say, okay. What happens, all your numbers are inserted these are level one numbers. These are level one numbers. All of them up until apricot. So what you will do, because as you can remember, we have one asterisk fit table two, three, four, four. So one asterisk means level one. So vegetable will leave it with one asterisk. Then cabbage is level two. So what you do, you go and increase in tent. It's at two. Tomato is there are three asterisks next to it. So so we put 
the increase in dent level 2, increase in dent level 3. Pumpkin and potato, they are 4. Increase level 2, level 3, level 4. You see, there is a net A. Alphabet surrounded by bracket for level for level three there it is it corresponds with the instruction. Then you increase in dent level two, increase level two, three, uh, increase level four. Also with fruits. Fruits is level one. There is one asterisk next to it. So we we'll leave it at Roman figure two as you can see. Apple is two, banana three, then grapes and apricot is four. So let's do it. Apple is two, increase in dent. Banana three, increase in dent two, increase in dent three. You see, it still corresponds with the. Then grapes, increase in dent two, three, increase four. Still corresponding. Then apricot increase in dent two, increase in dent three, increase in dent four. Can you see? That's how it should appear. Then we have our numbers, the customized numbering combination that did not exist from the given list of numbers here. We created our own. So now the next point here is that you will be, as you can see, you see only level 1 is against the margin. Level 2, level 3, level 4, they are away from the margin. It can happen that you are expected to put all your numbers on the margin. So if they tell you that all numbers must be against the margin, if that is the instruction, then again, then maybe they also further say indent a content as follows as follows. Then for level one, maybe they tell you that it must be one centimeter. For level two, they tell you that it must be 1.5 centimeter. For level three, they Instruction tells you that it must be two centimeters. For level four, the instructions tell you that it must be two point five centimeter. You see. Then, for numbers to be aligned or to be at zero, you must set the align to to zero for the margin, for the numbers to be against the margin. Your alignment must be at zero. You will see what I mean by that. And then the intent, it, it tells where the content should be. As you can see right now, it's zero point something, the content for number one, for level one. But we want it to sit at one centimeter, the content to be next at one centimeter somewhere here let's do that and for level two 1.5 level three two centimeter let's do that you will highlight everything again that is numbered then you go to your multi-level list define new list then that's where now you will do this thing that's let me go up a little bit then I go multi-level list define new list yeah looking at the instruction for level one as you can see numbers are on the margin so level one we don't move a line at is at zero that is why numbers are at zero at the margin 
Then in that text, as you can see, the text is not at one. So in that text, in that at, for level one is one centimeter. So now you remove that, put one centimeter. For level two, we want a number to be against the margin there. For it to be on, the alignment must be zero. You see, it's what the margin on the preview here. Then here, it must be 1.5, the intent for level 2. Then for level 3, it must be against the margin. You put 0 next to align it. You see, it's on the margin already. Then the intent for level 3 is 2 cm. Then for level 4, align it, it must be against the margin. So align it must be 0. Then the in intent for level 4 is 2.5. Then you say, OK. As you can see now, all our numbers are on the margin. And then for level 4, it's 2.5, the content, you see? For level 3, the content is sitting here. You see tomato is level 3, is there uh, on 2 cm. Then the cabbage is level 2, is sitting there at 1.5, can you see? Then for level 1, it's 1 cm, the intent is sitting there. Vegetable is level one. You see what that means, what it does. I think we are all clear. Oh, thank you. That is the end of the lesson for today.